Welcome to the Kingfish Company's first market update since our listing at the Euronext Growth Exchange. Today we'll run through the highlights of our operation in 2020 and I will be joined by our COO Case Clute and our CFO Christo Duplassis. Our mission is to further advance our first mover position in technology-driven aquaculture and to continue to establish ourselves as a leader in the sustainable production of high-value marine seafood. Over the last five years, we have proven that we can design, build and operate advanced RAS systems and achieve sector-leading KPIs, continuing to improve our production year over year. We currently produce the yellowtail kingfish in a vertically integrated operation in the Netherlands, servicing the European market and are in advance permitting and design of our second site in Maine to service the North American market. We are on track with our scale-up and expansion plans preparing to double our capacity in the Netherlands again while advancing permit and design to construction in the US for our site in Maine. Sustainability is at the core of every choice we make as we strive to set a new bar in environmentally friendly operation. We operate in the Netherlands on 100% renewable energy, filter the water not only on the way in but also before discharge. Therefore, we are able to grow our fish with no antibiotics, GMO or hormones. These efforts have enabled us to achieve strict certifications such as ASC and BAP and to pass the audits of demanding clients such as Whole Foods. The Kingfish Company is the first commercial scale producer of yellowtail kingfish in Europe and soon in North America. A Dutch yellowtail is a high grade raw, grilled or smoked classic. The species is well known in both the Japanese and Italian cuisine an excellent sustainable alternative, rated as a green choice by the Good Fish Foundation and Seafood Watch. We harvest to order five days a week and deliver fresh within 24 hours across Europe with regular shipments to the US. In a strong vote of confidence for our business, we raised 50 million euros in an oversubscribed private placement in November 2020. We managed to attract several A-list investors with deep industry knowledge and some of our largest shareholders also followed their rights. Following the private placement, we listed our shares on the Euronext growth in Oslo on the 25th of November 2020. There is a strong alignment between the interests of management and shareholders, as key management own nearly 13% of the shares in the company. 2020 was a breakthrough year for our production. Our total biomass growth for the year soared to 677 tonnes, which is a 45% increase on the previous year. It is also a 30% above design capacity, which was set at 520 tons. Our system productivity reached a new high at 0.64 kilogram per cubic meter per day in the last quarter of 2020. In the hatchery, the next generation of breeders have been introduced and produced the first offspring, which will give us future improvements in production. In total, the hatchery produced more than 1 million fingerlings, well in excess of system demand. The COVID pandemic turned high-end seafood markets on its head, with the closure of restaurants across Europe and the US. Despite these challenges, we managed to prove the advantage of producing fish in import-reliant markets by maintaining both sales volume and prices of 2019 throughout 2020. We were able to maintain sales levels by shifting to retail and direct-to-consumer markets and adjusting the size mix of our sales offering. Key clients such as Whole Foods UK and HelloFresh prove the sustainability credentials and the quality of our product. The development of a production plant in the US is an important part of our scale-up plans. There's a huge market for high-end seafood and production is limited in the US. In our search for an optimal location, we focused on the same aspects as we did for our Dutch site. Jonesport, in the state of Maine, provides us with a clean water source, proximity to the large East Coast market, an existing logistical infrastructure for fresh seafood, and availability of local labor. Capacity of the plant lies between six and 8,000 tons annually, and we target to break ground by the end of this year. The permitting process for both the water site and the land site permits is well on track, and design to construction is in progress. In Europe, we started our Dutch site five years ago with phase 1A, currently producing over 650 tons annually. We built our first expansion, 1B, 
during 2020. It's being commissioned and stocked at this moment, increasing our production capacity to 1250 tons. The groundwork for our phase two expansion has already started. Besides another 1750 tons of installed capacity, an integrated processing plant is included. We target commissioning and startup during quarter three of 2022. This will bring our total installed capacity in Europe at 3000 tons. This is summarizing the status and forecast planning of the build-out projects as described. Furthermore, we are developing plans for additional production facilities across Europe and the US. In production, we continue to exceed design level outputs, outperforming sector benchmarks. We have managed to maintain stable production in over three years of continuous operation. In sales, we successfully navigated the effects of COVID-19 on the market and managed to maintain pre-COVID sales volumes. We're in advanced development of new products and sales channels on track to meet our 2021 volume output increase. In the US, our development is on track with one of two critical water site permits already approved. In our European operation, we completed our 2020 expansion on time and on budget and groundworks for the next expansion have already commenced. Following a successful listing on Euronext growth last November, we continue to hire key personnel to support our scale up. We're encouraged by the growing list of tier one investors supporting our growth and we'll be publishing our 2020 annual report on April 16th.